ಓಂ ದಂ ಧನ್ವಂತರೇ ನಮಃ ರಾಗಾದಿರೋಗಾನ್ ಸತತಾನ್ ಶಕ್ತಾನ್ ಅಶೇಷಕಾಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರಸತಾನ ಶೇಷಾನ್ ಔತ್ಸುಖ್ಯಮೋಹಾನ್ ರತಿದಾನ್ ಜಘಾನ ಯೋಪೂರ ವೈದ್ಯಾಯ ನಮೋ ಸುತಸ್ಮೈ So today's topic is hypothyroidism, it's Ayurveda management. There is a thyroid gland in the neck region and it is endocrine gland, exocrine, endocrine gland and it uh, secretes T3, T4 and thyrocalcitonin. So when the uh, functions of thyroxine is reduced because of thyroid, deficiency, thyroid secretion deficiency, there will be symptoms of hypothyroidism. And Ayurveda system of medicine has a better role in the management of hypothyroidism. So incidence of endocrine disorders are increasing in India as well as in world whole world population. Diabetes, hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, hyperparathyroidism, Cushing syndrome, vaginism, dwarfism and Kohn syndrome are increasing in the society. Symptoms like obesity, constipation, hypercholesteremia, slow mentation and bradycardia are common in hypothyroidism patients. These are the common symptoms. Medicines like Medhavaragagulu, Nagagulu, Amrutadiyagulu, Lashana Shirapaka, Lashana Capsules, etc. are useful in hypothyroidism. These formulations usually have actions like hypocholesteremic, thyroid stimulant, reducing body weight, the discussion action, laxative and positive chronotropic actions. The present paper highlights about the hyperthyroid management of hypothyroidism patients. So histology of when we see the microscopic anatomy of the thyroid gland, cut the cut section shows like this, isn't it? There are thyroid follicles. Thyroid follicles are lined by follicular cells. They are cuboidal cells, epithelial cells, which surround colloid. Centrally, there is colloid. The pink staining in the center, it is the colloid. It? And colloid will be combining with the thyroxine T3 and T4, thyroglobin, thyroglobulin, etc. And it is stored, isn't it? So this is also thyroid gland. You can see thyroid follicles lined by follicular cells. And there are in between some other cells also there. Okay. They are calcitonin, secreting calcitonin. So in the center, there is colloid. Now let us see signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism. Obesity, somnolence, that means in the drowsiness, isn't it? In the daytime also. Bradycardia, slow mentation, constipation, amenorrhea in females, anemia, Impotency, hypotension, hypocholesteremia. These are all the symptoms of hypothyroidism. Now the test, thyroid function test, include T, estimation of T3, T4. T3 means triiodothyronine. T4 means thyroxine or tetraiodothyronine. TSH, that is secreted from the interpretatory and serum total cholesterol and lipid profile. Now let us see the ecomolic prayagas in hypothyroidism. They are guggulu, haritaki, Vibhitaki, Amalaki, Panchakola, Lashuna. Right? This is Shinti, gingival of Sinalis. Right? It is seen as stimulant action. It will correct uh, somnolence and slow mentation. Right? This is Guggulu, Kamiferamukul. The gum is used, resin is used, and it is uh, stimulating the thyroid gland by increasing the secretion of T34 and increasing the thyroid action activity. This is the gum Guggulu, which is purified and processed and used in the treatment. This is the Shilajatu. In uh, Sushi Samhita, Shilajatu is told best uh, remedy for obesity. In hypothyroidism also, there is obesity and hypercholesteremia. Shilajatu is a better preference. Trifala, it has a virechana action. Three myra balance, like uh, trif, uh, Haritaki, Vibhitaki, Namalaki, which have uh, purgative, uh, this laxative action, and also useful in hypothyroidism. The Punanama, Borheva diffusa, which is a diuretic drug, Mutala drug, which has action on hypothyroidism. And uh, let us see the histology of adipose tissue. There are adipocytes with the uh, fibers, isn't it? Adipocytes are having uh, eccentric nucleus, nucleus in the periphery, and uh, the whole heterogeneous is occupied with a fat globule, isn't it? So hypothyroidism, fat is increased, fat adipose tissue is increased, isn't it? This is a cerebrum histology, isn't it? Various 
layers are there. Cerebrum, the CNS, part of the CNS, it, uh, the, in the hypothyroidism, it is affected. And there will be slow mentation, somnolence, drowsiness, etc. will be there. Which CNS stimulants are to be given. Other the more, uh, single drugs are Maricha, Amlavetasa. Amlavetasa is reducing body weight. Lohabasma, Mandurabasma, Chitraka, Plumbezozelanica, Bellataka, Semicarpus, Anacardium, and Kala Mega. These are all the single drugs. Now let us see the formulations which are useful in case of hypothyroidism patients. Trishanadi Loha, Amrtadi Guru, Navaka Guru, Medohara Guru, Punanavadi Mandora, Trifala tablets, Amlaveta Sapala Churna, Lashana Shira Paka, Panchakola Kashaya, Panjaita Kashaya, Gugul Kalpas, Kanchanara Guru, Trifala Kashaya, Shotari Mandora, Lavangadi, Vidangadi Loha, Loha Basma, Mandora Basma, Trifala Mandora, Lashana Loha Rasayana, Shurakshara Kasisa, Trifala Churna, Chitra Gajoti and Bellatakoti. Is it the Kajan Bellatakoti? The link is the BMR, Basal Medical Grade, and have a thyroid stimulating action. Is it? Now let us see the for the treat, for planning the treatment of hypothyroidism, we have to treat the according to the symptoms. We can also treat, isn't it? We can also treat by increasing the thyroid activity, and simultaneously we can also treat by treating the individual symptoms like obesity, obesity, trishana diloha, rukshadvartana, yayama, daily walking is used. In somnolence, tea coffee, they are CNS stimulants, pugachurana is also CNS stimulant, direct ketachu, and shintikashaya is also CNS stimulant action. Okay. Bradycardia, for bradycardia, we can use Kanakasa, which can be erythropin, is anticholinergic drug, which increases the heart rate. Coffee and tea also stimulants. Slow mentation is there, then we can use Shinti Kashaya, Thikad Churna is Madhu and tea. They are CNS stimulants, isn't it? Constipation is usually seen in hypothyroidism patients. We can use Trifala tablet, Trirutleha, Vaipatakar Churna, Kotiki Kvata, and Chatsakar Churna. These are all forget laxatives, isn't it? So for amenorrhea, which is seen in hypothyroidism patients, we can use Ryogara Yogulu, Rajapravati Nivati, Ashoka Arista and Ulat Kambal Kashaya. For anemia, we can use Navasa Loha, Datri Loha and Swahasa. Anemia also seen in hypothyroidism patients. In impotency, we can use Siddha Makaraja, Vanari Kalpa, Kaunchad Nivati and Madana Kameshwari Leha. In hypotension in hypothyroidism, we can use Lagusada Chakravati, Makaraja Vati and fluids, plenty of fluids. In hypercholesteremia, hypercholesteremia, sorry, hypercholesteremic drugs are given. For example, Nagogulu, Lashana capsules, and Amrtati Gulu. Now coming to discussion. <coughs> Hypo <coughs> sorry. Hypothyroidism is caused due to loss of activity of thyroxine, less activity of thyroxine in the body. <coughs> Thyroid hormone is secreted with when pituitary gland is secreted, more TSH, thyroid stimulant hormone, which in turn stimulate the thyroid gland for further secretion of thyroxine. Thyroxine is mainly responsible for increase in BMR in the body. The symptoms of hypothyroidism can be better treated symptomatically by Ayurveda medicine for elevation of signs and symptoms like obesity, bradycardia, somnolence, slow mentation, constipation, amenorrhea, anemia, etc. So CNS stimulants, hypocholesteremic, laxative drugs are positive and drugs having positive chronotopy action, hypertensives and kashana drugs can be used in the treatment of hypothyroidism. Drugs like Guguru, Lashana, Amlavetasa are effective in the disease management. Ruksha Udvartana, Yayama and daily walking are effective in these patients. They correct the body weight also and decrease the cholesterol also, serum cholesterol also. Coming to conclusion. Hypothyroidism is caused due to less activity of thyroxine, T3 and T4, isn't it? T3 triadothyroidine and T4 triadothyroidine or thyroxine. Iron drugs and formulations are effective in the management of hypothyroidism patients. There are least adverse drug reactions during the treatment if it is given in correct dosage, isn't it? And patya patyas, patyas are, we can use pulses, isn't it? Uh, glean leaf vegetables, high fiber containing. Uh, food stuffs, this we can use. Hmm? And avoid curried and fried things, fatty, uh, uh, fatty or uh, the food items containing fat, excessive fat, that also should be avoided. So these are the conclusions. So these are the references.
So thank you for patient hearing.